There is an environmental disaster afoot, and it is one of global proportions. It has to do with a tiny insect that is often overlooked, the honeybee. The number of domesticated honeybees in the U.S. has been decreasing at an alarming and unprecedented rate. These mysterious disappearances aren't new. Humans have been collecting honey for centuries, but it wasn't until the arrival of European settlers in the 1600s that we began domesticating bees. But yeah, so you know, keeping bees for honey is, is thousands of years old. Right. The Romans, the Greeks. I don't know if we know where honeybees are native to yeah. originally, but they're definitely not native to North America. So colonists brought honeybees with them um, when they came to you know, this country in what, the 17th century. Yeah. Um, so there are lots of native pollinators as well. I mean, you know, honeybees are not our only source of pollination, which is good because they're suffering so badly, right? But there are lots of native pollinators as well that, that will pollinate. Um, and there are ways is, you know, that farmers can support uh, other pollinators besides honeybees by planting certain things or, you know, keeping crops in blossom in a certain way. But obviously we, we like honeybees because you can get honey from them. What's particularly eerie is that there is no mass of dead or dying bees nearby. Either they have forgotten their way back to the hive, or they have simply disappeared. Hives that are victims of colony collapse disorder have almost no surviving adult bees left in the hive, are full of untouched stored honey, and are sometimes infected by parasites. Since the 19th century, beekeepers have recorded occasional mass disappearances, but it wasn't until 2006 when beekeepers began regularly finding such losses affecting upwards of 60 to 90 percent of their hives that this phenomenon got a new name, colony collapse disorder. Obviously, honeybees can be really crucial for pollination at a farm, um, and they're also a really good um, sort of gauge of the local ecosystem, right? Like um, honeybee health, I think we're learning more and more is sort of the proverbial canary in a, in a coal mine, right? Mm -hmm. That if if the honeybees are healthy, then probably something's going well, right? right? Ecologically in the area. But if the honeybees are disappearing, what does this say about our environment? What people don't realize is that bees are both essential to our food supply and are a keystone to our environment. They pollinate our crops on an industrial scale, generating over a third of America's food production. Our fruits, vegetables, and food that we eat every day rely on bees to pollinate those crops. As humans, we are directly reliant on honeybees to survive. In, in this area, there's not that much agriculture, but there's probably enough. So uh, it's a real concern. So how can we find the culprit behind this calamity? For starters, we examine pests and disease. Bees are under threat from a whole lot of things. More parasites today than there were 30 years ago. Most of those parasites weren't really a problem 30 years ago. And, and the worst of them, the Varroa mite, is really quite new. And that hive beetle, that's just appeared in the last five or 10 years. I'm sure they, they existed before, but the beekeepers didn't notice them being a severe, serious problem. Now they're a very serious problem. So in certain cases, they are causing the collapse of, of one or two colonies here and there. Compounding this issue is the rise in global temperatures. Parasites and pathogens have become much more prevalent in environments where they hadn't existed at such levels before. This is because warmer weather facilitates increased reproduction and growth rates. Scientists also attribute chemicals as a mechanism of colony collapse disorder. Pesticides used on both commercial beehives and agricultural crops to ward off parasites could be getting into the food and water that honeybees consume. Researchers have even found that some pesticides damage the bees' homing abilities. That is, the inherent ability of an animal to navigate towards an original location through unfamiliar areas. If there's pesticides out, the bees are flying out and getting into it and bringing it back. They could be putting that in our honey. Yet, it is still largely unclear what is the exact cause of colony collapse disorder. For now, we must attribute several factors, pesticide use and various parasites, to colony collapse disorder. Honeybees aren't necessarily in danger of extinction, but fewer bees overall means less pollination and less food. 
it also has further implications that are less conspicuous. A loss of honeybees would wreak havoc on our ecosystems, potentially causing the extinction of other species, upsetting the delicate balance of the environment. Colony collapse disorder has silently and mysteriously emptied out hives across the U.S., yet the impact of these disappearances on our environment and agriculture will truly be deafening. <laughs>